The purpose of this video is to explain the real estate property tax calculation in Ohio. So what are real estate taxes? School districts, cities, townships, villages, special districts, counties, and other political subdivisions raise money for services through real estate taxes. The money collected supports schools, pays for police and fire protection, maintains roads, and funds essential government and community services, including those for parks and libraries. Ohio's oldest tax, real estate taxes, have been ad valorem, meaning based on value, since 1825. The state helps to ensure uniformity and fairness with real estate taxes through its oversight of county appraisal work. What is a mill? Property taxes are charged as mills. One mill is one thousandth of a dollar. That's one tenth of a cent. All Ohio residents pay a base tax rate of 10 mills. This base rate comes from the Ohio Constitution. The base rate is meant to provide governmental units with a base amount of operating revenue. These 10 mills are sometimes called inside millage. In addition to the base rate, voters can approve funds for roads, schools, libraries, fire and police protection, and other governmental services. This millage, outside of the 10 mills, must be voted on and approved before being added to the property tax calculation. These voted mills are sometimes called outside millage. The calculation for real estate taxes, ad valorem taxes, begins with the assessed property value. So what is this value? With standardized methods and statistical analysis, the county auditor first determines a property's fair market value. Fair market value is the amount a buyer and a seller would be willing to agree to in an arm's length transaction in the open market. The auditor uses fair market value to calculate a property's assessed value, which is 35% of the fair market value. So let's go to that formula for calculating property taxes. To arrive at the amount of property taxes a taxpayer owes, the formula is to multiply the property's assessed value by the total mill rate and divide that by 1,000. Expressed as an equation, the process looks like this. Fair market value times 35% equals the assessed value. Here's an example. A home with a fair market value of $100,000 would have an assessed value of $35,000. That's 100,000 times 35%. Now, the assessed value times the mill rate divided by 1,000 equals the gross property tax. In our example, a home with a fair market value of $100,000 and an assessed value of $35,000 is located in a taxing district with three property tax millages. That's 10 mills for the base rate, and let's just say 10 mills for school taxes and 10 mils for road taxes. And that's a total of 30 mils. Using the formula, the taxpayer owes a gross property tax of $1,050. That's 35,000 times 30 divided by 1,000. It equals 1,050. You can find a taxing district's property tax rate in mils and its property valuation at co.fairfield.oh.us under the auditor's information. Now let's go on. Gross property tax plus special assessments equals the total property tax. In addition to the gross property tax, taxpayers may also be subject to special assessments. A special assessment is a charge added for certain projects, such as installing sidewalks, water lines, sewer lines, or stormwater systems. The gross property tax plus the special assessments equals the total property tax for a period of time. Now, there's another step. Total property tax less reduction credits equals the property tax owed. The total property tax amount can be reduced by reduction credits, such as reduction credits for the homestead exemption program that is administered by the county auditor's office. 
Now it's really important to keep in mind that an increase in property value does not automatically mean an increase in property taxes owed, nor does it mean there will be a dollar for dollar increase. While property value is part of the formula for calculating property tax, it is not the only variable. For example, Ohio law provides for reduction factors for voted levies. This means that a factor is applied to reduce the taxes due on new market values of existing property so that the entity will receive the same revenue that was received in the prior year. However, communities do see increases in tax revenue by having more taxable property, that's new construction, approving emergency levies or taxes to repay debt, and by the voters approving a property tax increase or a new levy. The county treasurer collects property taxes with half due in February and half due in July. There are online tools for estimating property taxes at realestate.co.fairfield.oh.us. Thank you so much for viewing this video. If you have questions, please call the Fairfield County Auditor's Office at 740-652-7020.